Greetings, everybody. Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Wizards of the Black Death, Episode 4, Coastal Defenses. Another thing I might be able to do is to build a bridge like this, because zombies really aren't that smart. They're not really going to use walkways so that I gain access to the bottom half. But uh, that would be a future project. That's not something I'm going to do right now. But I will add doors. This isn't going to be 100% walls. Oh, man, that door is 7%. So we'll add doors down here uh, so that I can travel through them, but the zombies can't until they destroy it. Look at all that fiber corn. Can I manually repair stuff? Yes, I can. Ooh. Mining control. Oh, that does not look right. Oh, there we go. <laughs>, Laughs in pain. Uh, I have no idea where that site was, but I'm not going to go looking for it because... The world just blew up, and I don't want that to happen twice. Hey, Zach. Thanks for gifting out a sub. And uh, Lagos Vista Mags, thanks for gifting out a bunch of subs a little while ago, and I failed to, to acknowledge that in real time. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, Zero. Thanks for the bits. Great charity choice? Yeah, I, I hope so. I did a bit of research. I didn't do it in abundance, but I made sure it was legit. Now, one thing that I could do, which is weird, is I could um, haul rotted corpses of animals that died, like um, like boom rats and and well, these buffalo have gear on them, so I don't really want to consume their corpses. I do want this gear to get destroyed because I'm I'm not allowed to use it. But uh, because these rotted corpses over here, like bunny, can consume at a later date, so I could actually put corpses into a shed as like a mana pool. I know that sounds super strange, but it's a totally legit thing that I could hypothetically do if I wanted. Not to say that I'm going to. I don't think Dal. I don't. Hmm. I've. Th yeah, I'll summon more minions. I wasn't sure if I needed more or not, but since I have about a day's left before the threat starts climbing, I'll I'll get them, the last eek of minions out. We'll put a door here. And walls. How's the south coming along? Slow but sure. Zombie mufflows produce wool, which is pretty weird. I didn't know that. That's funny. Still, I think I'm going to go with uh, cotton. I don't really need wool. I live in a tropical rainforest, so... Cold is not something I expect to be uh, trolled by. So this prisoner is um, less certain than before. I don't have a ritual room yet. It wasn't prioritized. It wasn't voted on. So I'll get it when I get it. Now, obviously, these walls are very weak. But it's more because I don't t I'm not my, my characters aren't typically like up against the walls or anything like that. Uh, what's more likely to happen is that these will help to corral the zombies, I guess is the best way to put it, to control the flow of zombies. So, so these walls are not designed in a way that I think it's going to keep the zombies from, you know, it's not protection walls. Oh, a heat wave. Oh, um, ooh. so if I have a heat wave... I'm probably going to need uh, shade cones or cowboy hats because uh, we're going to get heat stroked otherwise. So, Bunny, I'm going to make you tailor up some, some clothing here. So, let's see. 
What are wizard hats? Wizard hats require magicite, so I don't really want to make wizard hats. Uh, they only really allow you to carry more and have a little bit more social impact, so yeah, not worth it. There is, of course, the bowler hats look awesome. Actually, I'm going to do bowler hats because they look cool. They do protect a little bit from heat. Um, compared to cowboy hats, as you can see, it's, it's less, but they look cool. And that matters to me. So let's do f five of them. Or no, let's do three of them for the three wizards. And then... Shade cones for the other ones? I, uh, it'll look weird, but it'll be fine. So, outfits. We now have differentiating outfits. So, new outfit. Uh, might. So this will be no tainted, no tattered, and no bowler hats. And then basic is going to be magic. And yes, bowler hats. But no... What were the other hats I queued up? No shade cones. And now I don't have to force wear anything. Class base clothing. This will become a lot more obvious in need later on when I am crafting proper equipment. Like Arcane Hoods or Armor of the Valiant, where Armor of the Valiant should go to Valentin. And maybe the Shadow. Arcane Hoods should go to the cra ca casters. So there's a lot more need to, to make sure that we're doing that later on. All right, I'm going to tell these guys to stop um, cutting trees. Because I have a lot of things that I want to sew in the walls. And there's enough wood out here for the minions to haul. There's a lot of haul. In hindsight, this would have been a better room for research because... Um, these rooms get trampled by, by elephants often. Or actually, this would be a really good room for food, too. Or maybe I'll put another another kitchen over here or something. I'll have to redesign this a little bit. But I'm still working on the lake wall project. Because that is my priority. So let's put a door in. And walls. And a door... Get the walls in in a minute. How much time do I have? Oh god, they're spawning now. Okay. Hurry up! Uh, so, assignments. Gala and Valentin on might, because Valentin already wore the wrong hat. It's not that big of a deal. So this got set up, great. This got set up, and this is just nearly done. We'll get this in time. Come on, just finish up. I'll have to micromanage them a little bit. And we'll haul away the excess wood. Deleter, thank you for the sub. I'm going to work a little past my bedtimes here so that I can finish this off, because I think this will help control the flow of zombies uh, very much so. All right, and we have 17 zombies on the map tile already, so animals, you are gonna go elephants inside, and the minions, I don't really care if they get killed because they're gonna despawn anyway, so they can keep working. Alright, another thing I need to do is to repair the doors that took a lot of damage and then to haul things out of them and then to close the slate. So we have slate doors that were propped open and we're gonna... Oh, oh, uh, menu just went through there. I was like, why is that open? Now, by default, there is a, uh, there is a zombie that is albino that can open and close doors. I have that turned off because I'm medieval and I don't have the ability to make like auto turrets and things like that. So just to let you know that if you play zombie land on the default difficulty, uh, there are some special zombies that can wreck your day. Oh, and that is the sound of a slimer zombie somewhere out there. 
I don't know, it, it's fighting an animal or something. But they create, like, nasty, sticky slime. They're interesting. Alright, so all that is now closed. Um, 28 zombies. I think I can keep my guys working out here for a bit longer. But uh, I'm going to probably close the zone off soon, forcing them inside. You know what? I'm going to call it. Let's stay inside now. We'll let the minions go outside, but I'm going to I'm gonna stay indoors because... Is this a faceless zombie? Yes, it is. Okay, that's weird. Oh god, they're all faceless. Are they all all faceless? I might need to relog. These zombies, yeah, they don't have bodies anymore. Okay, let's uh, let's reload. Let's reload that because uh, I'm gonna actually reboot RimWorld all together because they're doing some weird things. So I'm gonna put the giant be right back thing up, even though I'm still here. <laughs> My RimWorld like crashed, and you get Mega Yoda if he'll poke his head up. Oh, you can't even read that. Yeah, I really am a professional. Here we go. It's not terrible, right? Like, when I have to reboot? Okay, so my player log files is four and a half gigabytes. So I would say that it was logging some stuff. <laughs> Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Can I get a kiss? No kisses for daddy? Doodlebug. You wound me. That's okay. I don't have treats. I ran out of peanuts. I ran out of carrots. And the fruit that I would normally feed him is all frozen. And the frozen fruit gets all over my hands and makes my keyboard sticky. And I don't... I didn't want to have to deal with a st sticky keyboard for 12 hours because that sounds miserable. So... Alas, I fail. Let's uh, do a quick checkup while we're loading here on the campaign. Oh, we hit a new threshold. I have seven spare lives. Dang, guys, that is a lot. And you can see the recent uh, subs there, or recent donations. So, Zach, Zero Day, Frank, and Anonymous. Thank you, guys. All right, back to the big Yoda while I load. Man, it is taking a long time to load. Here it goes. There is uh there's a lot of bugs uh with I'm not really sure what's triggering it, whether it's Zombie Land or something else, Remote Magic, but uh it's stable enough that I feel like I can stream it, but not so stable that it doesn't need a little love every now and then. And we're back. You're stuck with me until someone redeems the Yoda camp. Wow, I can't see past their eyes. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> oh, wow, those are some big hats. The bigger the hat, the more powerful the wizard. I think. Poor little Gala. It's just like, oh, what's a shade cone? We'll look cooler. Don't you worry. As soon as we get Magicet refining, uh, we'll get access to some arcane crafting. And here's my only Parasite Thornbush. Could you guys do a little bit more, perhaps? Also, the only one that really, really, really needs a hat has doesn't have one yet. Oh, I should not have left the extract out there. Well, at least it won't decay. So let me take a quick look at my inside zone to update it. I'm not even going to allow them to go into the airlocks either. I want them to stay fully away for their own safety. Now Darnassos, uh, let's drop some pylons to start adding 
for safety. I don't know if that actually blocks the path, but if it does... Oh, don't, don't... Look, look at this poor wall here. Oh, that wall's gone. Alright, I will ask you in just a minute uh, what my next project will be. But I want to get another defensive pylon up. I'll put this one... Uh... Here. I'm trying to keep the southeast of my base clear of zombies. So I have a method to leave the base when I need. Alright, Bunny. Where's my last hat? Go make me a shade cone. So it looks like, uh... Vienna's actually... Okay, I am going to need a passive cooler in there to keep her alive. Because I can't shade cone her with... Easily. There's also an argument to be made that the hospital should be moved to an inside building at some point in the future because her laying ear is pissing off the zombies in this area. Which then is causing a uh, sort of unnecessary amount of attention in this in this spot. Uh-oh. <laughs> Good luck. Some arcane item dealers here. And new lovers. Gala and Valentin. Awesome. So we have two couples already. I did set their... I'll, I'll be honest. I did set their ages up in a way that I suspected that they would couple off. Couldn't I strip her? I could strip her, but um, the clothing that she's wearing protects her from heat. It insulates her from heat, so it would have the opposite effect. She does have tattered clothing, which once she fully converts over to our ideology, she's not going to like. And how long are the zombies going to stay? Uh, I'm going to have zombies for the next six days and change, as you can see. So we're at zero right now, and up to seven, I have zombies. The 14-day forecast looks green. Yo, Valentin, where are your shade going? It's masterwork, come on, it's amazing. I'm just gonna force it, because he's being dumb. All right, so here is the bed. It also wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to try to get, um, for me to try to get uh, high quality beds. But maybe made out of steel, because my wood amount, I'm a little worried about. So I'll install these beds for now. Uh, but I, I do want to make a focus on making them wood. So this is... Gal and Val. Gal Val's bed. And then Bunny and Kazma, your bed is going to be moved. So another reason why I'm trying to keep the southeast edge... Uh, free of zombies is that's where we sleep so if I keep this edge of the um, of the base clear of zombies it lowers the damage to my external walls so it's it's uh, it's tactical so then Vienna uh, it would behoove me to actually move Vienna in a little bit so um, so that there isn't so much attention on this northeast corner, which is definitely taking considerable damage. You know, she's paralyzed, so she can't really do anything but lay there. I can put her here until her para uh, uh, until she's not paralyzed anymore. And when she converts, I can actually add her to my roster. But, let's have Kazma and Bunny start researching rather than cut stone. I think I have enough stone. So this will be for prisoners. And this will be the hospital. And I'll probably move the hospital elsewhere because, again, an edge corner here is not exactly safe. But we'll wait until that becomes a priority. The the um the trade group's doing a pretty good job. Honestly. I'm I'm impressed. 
I'll go out there and see what they have to trade. That was a good idea, is putting the trade point up that way. <laughs> I can sell my zombie elephants for a penny. In for a penny, in for a pound. I have nothing to sell them. Yeah, they don't want anything. Maybe if I mined up my gold. But I'm not about to do that. So there's 129 zombies on the map tile, and there's basically none on my walls. So the lake walls are working quite well. The reason is the noise and activity of my colony is being... They're so far away from it that they're not getting aggroed. So it keeps, it keeps sort of the noise, the humdrum... Oh man, except for these walls are getting trashed. It's keeping the um, the noise of the colony away from where the zombies are, are allowed to go. Uh, moving the bedrooms inside could work in the long run, but there's also, you know, the limited amount of real estate that I have, so I have to keep that in mind as well. Also, to be honest, I kind of like the challenge of having zombies mess with me, so I don't want to make a perfect colony and not have to deal with zombies anymore, because... That would make me sad. I like dealing with zombies. Oh, and here comes a big wave. Yeah, we're... We're at about 50%. So we have 123 zombies outside at 50%. And that's also with um, animals. So another pattern that you're going to see is the wildlife. Why is my wildlife tab broken? Okay, uh, why is my UI broken? broken. Things that did not happen when testing. Yeah, no, it's not all. Hmm. Hang on a second. Let me clear. Yeah, there is some some errors being thrown. <laughs> Zombies just eat my UI. Got it. This uh, this didn't happen in testing, and I tested pretty rigorously. So, oh well. I'm gonna turn off this hold fire because I'm a little worried about um, shooting my allies or my um, they're not allies, but the other faction. Oh, do I need to move my cooler for the uh, the prisoner? Probably. Good call. And it wouldn't be a terrible idea for me to start getting dusters or capes. I'm going to make dusters. The guys up here are basically dead. They don't know it already, but if they hang out on any longer, they're gonna die. One of them got bit. Another got bit. Their elephants are dying. Yeah, they're, they're basically just dead. Oh no, they're leaving. It looks like they're leaving, so some of them might make it out. But they're not so happy about their situation, as one can see. So, next priority here. Uh, I will just redo the last time you voted on this. So, Ritual Room. Allowing me to run Rituals. Just a little reminder about the Rituals. Uh, I have add a member, gain mana, add a member, bestowing magic, and uh, bestowing uh, magical abilities or whatever. Arcane Path. So, I'll, I'll read this so that you know. A Void Seeker will go... Guide a pawn to possessing the gift of magic, which I should never really have to do because we only allow gifted people to join. But also bestow magic is taking someone that has the precursor gift and giving them a class. Um, and then if it's successful, we gain mana. 
And then the other thing is a storage room because, yeah, we have lots of stuff kind of everywhere. And that could be a problem. Uh, we also have a need for extra researchers, perhaps, if we want to push research heavily. Uh, or a crafting, a formal crafting room would be good, too. I can still hear them shooting. Oh, yeah, there they are. Look at them trying to be useful. Just leave already, guys. They're going to turn to zombies. So I'm going to see if any of them are presenting zombie symptoms yet. Nope, none of them are. The game will actually warn you when you are infected with zombie, unlike Project Zomboid, where it doesn't really tell you. This game will be like, yep, you're becoming a zombie. Good luck. So, did I count? Oh, no. Well, we're not done sewing, but it looks like I did count to 50 properly. So congratulations, everybody. I passed, like, uh, what, second grade math? Some very remedial level of math. I'm so proud. So proud. Choking up now. Uh. Right. And this is just going to become fiber corn. I am the necromancers of the fiber corn. Ooh, we mined up some magicite. Sweet. Now, I did mention uh, wanting some sort of uh, panic tunnel, but I'm probably going to figure out where the steel is before I mine out a panic tunnel. So I'm going to mine from the outside in once it's safe. I'll put a timer on that pole. <laughs> Big hand. There it is, timed. Does look like Ritual Room is gonna win. And 50 Parasite Thorn Bushes, perfect. Can I get dug too deep in a quarry? No, I cannot. Hey, Beavis, stream's going well. How are you doing? Oh, one of them turned. Nolsus. Hey, Dal, let's drop a... So this pile on here will try to keep my west safe, but also um, shouldn't have too much line of sight on my walls. So it keeps my walls from getting blown up too. So uh, it serves sort of two purposes. Uh, over here, I'm going to start planting uh, psychoid. And then this last spot will be for smoke leaf. Psychoid and smoke leaf are ingredients for mana potions. So I'm planting that in order to uh, to try to get mana potions. Vienna has converted. So if you've converted, I'm gonna strip you because you don't want to wear tattered clothing. You'd rather be naked. And then I am going to recruit you. But um, Dallasos has inspired recruitment, so only Dallasos is going to be the warden because you're going to join immediately and instantaneously, which is kind of awesome. Uh, the Magistrate plant, I think 50 is the like local limit. But not like the... I think you can have other map tiles, but for, for this series, I'm not going to be doing multi-map tiles. One's hard enough. Alright, Dell. I am going to have you cast a little pylon up north. Put it here. And then jump back in the walls. This thing, oh, I almost did it perfectly. Look at it. Its max range is basically the walls here. Uh, you know what, elephants? That was a bad, bad idea. I'm gonna put my elephants here only. I'm gonna keep them away from the edge of the walls so they don't uh, piss the zombies off. And it looks like you guys want ritual room.
research magic refining and build a ritual room so i'll probably put my ritual room up here maybe i might have to cut into the fiber corn and before i start setting that up let me have you decide on next research project because we just finished i am going to start with uh psychic brewing in case we want it actually drug production but i'm gonna let you vote Just typing some things up. Before I uh, put up the poll about next research, let me explain. So Arkham Facilities doesn't do anything on its own. It just leads to mana storage and um, magic focal points, which allows you to cast large spells, group spells. Arcane Crafting allows you to make uh, robes and clothing and wands and um, uh, weapons eventually with magical equipment. Scribing allows you to make magic scrolls to teach you spells. So some of them are utility spells like uh, Magic Cooler and some of them are class-based spells like Cauterize Wound for a Fire Mage or Dry Ground for a Fire Mage. Enchanting allows you to make a gem crafting table and then gems allows you to improve and enchant clothing. So like t-shirts and pants and things like that you can imbue extra abilities to. Uh, and then everything else should be pretty straightforward. So there it is. And I'll give you two and a half minutes to vote on that. Bunny is... Okay, she is indeed working on dusters. Good. Oh, and we're starting to get food poisoning. So Gala and Kazma just got food poisoning. And there's two more poisoned meals somewhere in the stack. Due to an incompetent cook. Despite the fact that my cook has a skill level 10. All right, Valentin, uh, let's go ahead and set us up a ritual room. So it's going to be placed there. Stick a door on there. I'm not going to have it butt up against the edges of the, my walls so there's space to walk. And I have a lot of steel. Alright, Dalsos. I'm going to tap you. What doors are here? I can stick a defense pylon here. Try to clearing them out around here at the cost. Oh, look at you with your, like, prestige cataphract helmet. Oh, bye-bye. Bye-bye door. And that's why we have double doors. Randall Thor, thank you for the bits. And for the gifted sub. And let me check on Tiltify. Oh, yes. Anonymous, thank you for uh, another donation. I don't know. I mean, obviously, there's not one Anonymous, but... Uh, and Escandia as well. Cheers. Will double walling act as sound insulation? It will not, no. Zombies care about proximity. Not, um, not wall thickness. Okay, uh, looks like scribing is the choice. So let's change that over to scribing. So that's allowing us to make magical spells. Oh, at a scribing table.
We are now at 100% threat level, so this is threat level midnight. And I think tomorrow morning, once people are up, I should probably go through the effort of doing a little bit of zombie purging because the numbers that we're getting are a little uh, untenable. We're at uh, 160 zombies and climbing. And it would be very, very good if I cleaned some out because some of this northern wall here, we're looking at 50-60% uh, damage. And that's only going to drop. Also, we're going to lose the heat stroke, which is good. How is she heat stroked? It's 60 degrees in there. No, they're get they're they're not raged yet. I haven't had an enraged horde yet, but uh, let me just tell you, you want to avoid horde enragement. Go rhinos, go! Five day forecast is the next five days. I'm gonna have zombies, and then there'll be a lull. There'll be a lull for two days where I'll be able to do... Oh, here's Rage Zombies. So here's what Rage Zombies look like. They move faster. They're more violent. Uh, it's because I, I built up a large horde here and they got enraged. So I'm going to tap everybody, wake them up rudely, and get them to start purging before my walls go kaput. And then Valentin, I'm going to... Zone restrict you to home and then very carefully micromanage you so that you do not leave the walls. I'm also going to summon another defensive pylon down here. which is like the last of my mana. I have to be careful that this pylon doesn't crossfire my colonists, which would be not good. So Gala just blocked that attack by the zombie because it's safe to be attacked melee by one zombie. Kazma dropped because of his food poisoning. In fact, the, all these guys have like... No, they don't have food poisoning. But um, Kazma has food poisoning and casting put him into weakness. And uh, he collapsed. So Gala's gonna throw him inside while the other two attack. Sorry, Kaz. All right, you just drop him. So between arcane weakness and food poisoning, he just collapsed. A miscalculation about his ability to handle casting. My bad. And he dropped in probably what could be construed as like the worst spot ever. Gal is also food poisoned, so I'm gonna leave her inside as well. Just have two people fight fighting. Would double walling help? No. I've uh, sort of covered that. But you can't repair the outer walls, so it doesn't help you that much. It's like having two hit bars where one of the hit bars is you can't fulfill it, I guess. So, like, technically it would help, but there's better ways to handle it, is I guess the, uh, the answer I'm going to go with. Alright, so this northern group here is pretty cleaned up because of that pylon. So let's go to this edge. Is there a corpse to uh, explode here? Not really. I guess I'm in combat. I'll go to reds.
You have to be careful when you uh, choose to explode corpses that they're not near your walls or you're going to blow up your walls too. That's no good. So like this corpse, for instance, is not one that you'd want to explode. You'll just end up doing more damage to your own walls. The uh, the turrets and our spells do a lot more damage to wall our, our own defenses than zombies can. Zombies don't do a lot of damage to walls. So you just have to be careful with that. Come on, come on, kill. Yes, there we go. Another thing that I haven't done in a while is level up. So better pylons and cheaper pylons. Bunny. Um, we're going to go with more violent damaging explosions for corpse explosion. She is the eater of souls. Oh, that'd be a good helmet to smelt. It's plasteel. See, I was saying before that layered defenses are more useful than double or triple walls. Double and triple walls are useful, but having a layer, like an onion, um, is probably a better approach. Both are valid, but one is repairable, one is not. Speaking of repairable... I'm gonna vault and throw that door back while no one's around. I'm gonna see if I can't nuke these guys. Oh, we have a we have a break. So these little um, wooden walls cannot take a lot of accidental spell cast. So you know, I think her wand of ice broke that wall. And do some quick assessing here, repairing the weakest of the weak points. I believe that was my fourth food poisoning, which means that uh, we are done with food poison. The four batch of bad food. Uh, mazes would work to a degree, but zombies when enraged will just plow through your walls. They don't really care about mazes so much. So it works until it doesn't, I guess is the answer. I'm also going to take the risk to put Chasma on home zone. So home zone is a little bit wider of a zone than the inside. Inside doesn't allow them to repair the walls, keeps them away from the walls. Uh, Chasma actually would be a better home zone repairer than um, than Valentin, because Valentin can accidentally warp to the wrong side of the wall. Yeah, the pylon also was uh, responsible for taking out the wall too. Ooh, a raid uh, from the Shattered Empire. <sighs> yeah. Come. Come on. Let's go. Perhaps you can watch as someone succumbs to zombie bites now. They, it just... It's actually a little unlikely because they have to survive long enough to be bitten and uh, turn. Whereas these guys are probably just going to get eaten by zombies, I'd imagine. But we'll see. Ballista aren't part of the mod pack, Dragon, but uh, spike traps you could do. It's just long-term kind of unaffordable, because there's hundreds of zombies, and that would take tens of thousands of metal of spike traps to kill them all, and they just come back. Uh, as long as your zombie threat is high, zombies just keep spawning forever, so... Not that helpful. Vienna has joined us. <laughs> Welcome. You're naked... Unconscious and lying in your own pool of vomit, which is exactly how we recruit new people. Let it be known. I'm actually going to try for royal beds. After I build a ritual room, because you guys voted on ritual rooms. So now that she's joined us, raffle timer for her. Let me uh, reset the eligibility. And good luck. Our first raffled character. The original five, I'm not going to raffle off. Bunny belongs to the person that proposed the 
Uh, the way it works is, I didn't really explain this, but the way it works is once a month, I do one of these mini series, and they're all ideas proposed by my uh, Twitch subscribers and Patreon patrons. And the process takes place on, uh, you know, well, yeah, you don't have to type Rabble. The process takes place on Discord. So if you want to, if you're a subscriber or a patron and you want to get involved, you just join Discord. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Wizards of the Black Death, which originally streamed live on Twitch March 19th. Wizards of the Black Death is the March miniseries marathon winner, which means it was streamed one time only. So if you're thinking about providing feedback and comments, keep that in mind. This stream was also part of a charity fundraiser for the International Rescue Committee. The International Rescue Committee is trying to help citizens stuck in war zones. And specifically, this fundraiser was for citizens of Ukraine. If you have interest to donate to that charity, I will leave a link in the description below. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to everybody who donated to the charity, or plans to. My Twitch subscribers, my Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I'll catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell.